Hello everyone. Let's get on with this question of XAD 2018. Two different quadratic equations have a common root. Let the three unique roots of the two equations be A, B and C. All of them are positive integers. Okay. So let me say that I have one quadratic equation Px square plus Qx plus R equals 0 whose roots are A and B and another quadratic equation mx square plus nx plus l equals 0 whose roots are b and c such that b is the root common to both the equations. If a plus b plus c equals 41, okay, that's a condition that I need to keep in mind, a plus b plus c equals 41 and the product of roots of one of the equations is 35. Now it doesn't matter which equation I take. Let's say the first equation whose roots are a and b, their product is 35. So in how many ways can I write 35 as a product of two positive integers? Because we knew that a, b and c all are positive integers. So 1 times 35, 5 times 7. And that's about it. B's value can be 7 times 5, 5 and in 35 times 1, 1. So therefore, B can take 4 different values, 35, 7, 5, 1. Now we know A plus B plus C equals 41. So substituting If a is 1, b is 35, then c must be 5. If a is 5, b is 7, then c must be 29. If a is 7, b is 5, c must be 29. And those are the only 4 cases that are possible based on the information which is given in the question. Which of the following options is definitely correct? The common root is 29. Well, in fact, in no case is the common root 29. So this is not definitely correct. This is definitely false. The smallest among the roots is 1. While this is true for two cases that the smallest among the roots is 1, it is not true for the other two cases where the smallest among the roots is 5. So again, this is not definitely correct. One of the roots is 5. Let's check this case. Is it necessary that one of the roots is 5? Yes. Whether it's this case or this case or this or this, one of the roots is definitely 5, which means answer option 3 should be the correct answer. If you are not completely convinced, you can also check answer option 4. Product of roots of the other equation is 5. The product of roots of the other equation should be B times C which can be 35 times 5, 175, 29 times 7, 203, 29 times 5, 145 or 5 times 1, 5. So it is not necessary that the product of roots of the other equation is 5. All of the above are possible but none are definitely correct. No, this answer option is also wrong because we know that one of these is definitely correct. Hence, the correct answer to this question is answer option 3. Thank you.